What is up YouTube? This is Watchdown here, bringing you my first Pokemon Wi-Fi battle as well as my first commentary, but I will try my best to make it not painful to watch. Anyway, straight to the match. This is a battle against a guy by the name of Puddles A1. I've made him on the Smogon Battle Finder. This is actually a mixed tier battle. I just wanted to test out a female team that I made just for fun. He broke his mostly OU team and it turned out to be a pretty interesting game. So he leads off with Furthorn, I lead off with my Lopani, which is named Wanna Play because it likes to play all sort of games with my opponent. I go for a fake out, I don't know why I did it because I took more damage from Iron Barbs combined with Life Orb Recoil than he took actual damage. And right now I go for a magic code to bounce off anything he wants to throw at me like status or leech seed and it works out in beauty, he is now paralyzed and pissed. So I figure the best thing I can do is go for a jump kick and see how much it does. It does a little bit over half which I am happy with but he goes straight for a power whip and takes my Lopani out. He is getting some health back with his leftovers but I go to my ice cold Tequila to revenge kill him with focus blast. Luckily it hits and down goes Ferton. It actually turned out to be a crit which I don't think matter. But now he goes to his Latias and because I'm choice card I have to switch out. So I decided to go to my nope Plissy just because I can take any special hit he wants to throw at me. He goes for a Call Might on the switch and surprises me with a Psyshock as I toxic him. At this point the best thing I can do is trying to toxic stall him because that's what Blissey does best and I speeded up this part even more. So I go for a wish but he predicts that and sets up another Calm Mind. So now that he's at plus 2, his Psyshock does around half to my Blissey which is a little bit scary. I go for Seismic Tooth just to speed up his death and after a wish and leftovers I'm at pretty much the same amount of health I was before. Now he uses Recover, but I figure because toxic damage racks up so quickly, I'm just going to spam Seismic Tosses and after two of those, combined with the toxic damage, he barely lives. Now I predicted him either to switch out or recover, so I go for another Seismic Toss, but he just decided to kill me and leave his Lattice to die. So we both go down, and he goes to Mind Blow Infernape as I go to Lilligant. Obviously it's a terrible matchup for me but I decided to stay in on the off chance he will over predict and not go for a fire move. He decided to go for a safe U-turn and my Lilligant leaves it like a boss with 18 HP. I go for a teeter dance on a switch and follow up with quiver dance because this set is all about dancing. Unfortunately his ninja turtle doesn't really feel like dancing, especially that the third dance coming is a pedal dance, breaks through confusion and kills me off with the scald. Now I bring in my Gardevoir, which is named Power in French. See what I did there? He stays in, probably expecting me to trick him or set up a Calm Mind, but this Gardevoir is actually offensive set with Scarf and Max Special Attack, so I one hit KO him from full health with Thunderbolt. Now it was a critical hit, but at the same time Gardevoir has really good special attack, so I'm not sure if it mattered. Anyway, in comes Volcarona. I'm pretty sure I can leave one back bus, so I just go for Thunderbolt again to see how much it does. He takes it nicely because lack of stab, but I paralyze him as he sets up a Quiver Death, which is just perfect. I decided to bring him as low as possible with T-Bolt and pray that he doesn't have Morning Sun. He sets up another Quiver Dance and kills me with Bug Bust, but now he's at range where I can easily finish him with my Jinx even with plus 2 special defense. Now he brings his Infernape again for a revenge kill, but little does he know I'm Scarfed and he goes down to the Psychic as well. His last Pokemon is a Staraptor. I decided to switch out just to be safe and go to my Meloetta to take any hit, but he actually roosts predicting me to attack. A little story, I actually checked out whether Meloetta can outspeed Staraptor and because I was sure I'm faster, I've gone for a workout instead of attacking him. Turns out I was looking at Meloetta's pirouette form while I was in slower area form and because of that my Meloetta goes down after a second close combat. Anyway, now that I see he's running life orb, I just go back to Jinx and easily kill him with an ice beam. 
and that will be the game. So good game paddles A1, had a lot of fun and if you guys enjoyed the battle you can leave a like, but that's it for now, I see you all next time.